Hello everyone. So today we'll talk about important questions from the AMINES. This video is for the PU student and state board student. So let us talk about the first question. First question is name product obtained when nitrile is reduced with H2 in presence of nickel give equation. Second is how nitrobenzene converted to aniline. First suppose they have given nitrile. Nitriles are also cyanide, alkyl cyanide, RCN. So if you have to convert Suppose they have given hydrogen in presence of nickel. So what will happen? There is reduction happen. And because of the reduction, you will get RCH2, NH2, primary amine you will get. Next, if you have nitrobenzene and if you want to convert into aniline, again, you can use SN in presence of HCl and heat. So SN will react with Cl result in release of hydrogen. And this is another type of reduction. As a result, what happened? This hydrogen will get attached to the nitrogen result in formation of the aniline. So these are the two reactions. Question number second is how does a primary aliphatic amine react with nitrous acid and give the reaction? Suppose you have primary aliphatic amine RNH2. You are reacting with the nitrous acid and nitrous acid is produced when you react NaNO2 and HCl. As a result in a formation of intermediate our salt, disonium salt is formed but with the alkyl group. This compound is unstable, okay? So when it reacts with water, it results in formation of alcohol, HCl and N2. So remember, whenever you use primary, primary aliphatic amine with nitrous acid, the end product is the alcohol is formed. Third question is, so when benzene disonium chloride reconverted to hydrobenzene, how it is done? So suppose you have benzene disonium salt, okay, chloride you have, and when you react with Ki, potassium iodide, it result in the formation of iodobenzene KCl plus N2 is released. Reaction is you have to name the organic product which is formed. So suppose you have taken ARN2X. So it is benzene disonium. So AR represents the benzene compound. Benzene disonium salt. You have reacted with CuCN in presence of KCN. You have to find X plus N2. First, if you react with benzene disonium salt with CuCN or KCN, remember CN will displace the N2 and X result in formation. So CN will get attached to the AR group or to the aryl group result in formation of ARCN. So this is benzene ring CN. This is called as aryl cyanide. Next reaction, suppose again you have benzene disonium chloride plus H3PO2 and H2O. So in this reaction, again, this group will get removed and there is addition of hydrogen as a result in why the compound is nothing but benzene so it result in the formation of the benzene question number five is give reason aniline is a weaker base than the ammonia but methane amine is a stronger base than the ammonia so if you look at the ammonia it has pair of electrons because it can donate pair of electron it is a act as a base now if you like look at the aniline aniline what happened the nitrogen electron will show plus r effect plus resonance as a result these electrons will move inside the benzene ring and availability of these electrons will become less. So aniline is a weaker base because pair of electrons are nitrogen get delocalized toward the ben benzene ring. These electrons will move toward the benzene ring. As a result, electron donation will become difficult. So that's why aniline is, is a weaker base than the ammonia. Next part is why methane amine is stronger base than ammonia. So in methane amine, if you look at there is a CH3 group. CH3 group is a electron releasing group it donates electron towards the nitrogen. As a result, availability of the nitrogen electrons in the nitrogen because it is donating electron toward the nitrogen, availability will increase. As a result, methane amine is a stronger base than the ammonia. Question number six is complete the following reaction. Aniline is reacted with bromine water. And next reaction, aniline is reacted with the concentrated H2SO4 at 473 Kelvin. So first reaction, so when aniline reacts with the bromine water, aniline is a very strong activating group. What happened? Bromine will get attached to the ortho and para position, result in formation of 246 tribromo aniline. So bromine will get attached to the two ortho and one para position when you will treat it with the bromine water. Second reaction with concentrated H2SO4 result in formation of sulfonylic acid. In sulfonylic acid, you have NH2 on one side and SO3H on the para position and this compound on one side you have a base and another side you have a acid. So what it can do? This acid can donate H plus to form NH3 plus and it can lose H plus to form SO3 negative. So this ion which is acidic as well as basic, this ion is called as 
zwitter ion question number 7 is give reason why aniline does not undergo friedel craft reaction second is aniline react with concentrated hno3 to form meta nitro compound so first what why aniline does not give friedel craft reaction in friedel craft reaction you use alcl3 as a catalyst mostly this does not react with anything so remember alcl3 is also a lewis acid it has deficiency of electrons so what happen with nh2 nh2 has lone pair of electrons so al will form bond with the nh2 result in formation of nitrogen will get positive charge as a result what happen aniline react with alcl3 to form a salt it result in so acid and base result in formation of salt in which nitrogen gets positive charge because of the positive charge instead of donating electron to the benzene ring it will start withdrawing electron from the benzene ring and this will become strongly deactivating group so it becomes deactivating means it cannot undergo friedel craft reaction next what happen when aniline react with concentrated nitric acid suppose aniline react with nitric acid h nh2 theek hai so what happen in nitric acid nitric acid release the h plus ion so aniline can react with the h plus ion result in the formation of anilinium ion now in anilinium ion what happen it is again electron withdrawing group as a result nitrogen no2 group will attach at only the meta position so always remember so in aniline hydrogen will get attached from the hno3 hydrogen will get attached as a result it gets positive charge and because of the positive charge again it becomes deactivating and meta directing so no2 will get attached at the meta position so you will get the meta product question number 8th is arrange primary secondary and tertiary methyl amine in decreasing order of their basic strength in gaseous phase as well as aqueous medium and next is main two factor which affect the basic strength of amine in water first we talk about we are arranging the amines in the order of their basic strength in gaseous phase in gaseous phase there is only inductive effect so here there are ch3 ch3 groups so they can donate electron to the nitrogen electron density at the nitrogen increases so that's why tertiary has the highest basic strength and primary will have the least because tertiary can donate from three sides secondary can donate electron from two side whereas primary can one side next we talk about aqueous medium so in aqueous medium there are two effects one is inductive effect as well as there is hydrogen bonding okay so remember secondary can show inductive effect as well as hydrogen bonding both efficiently so secondary will have the highest basic strength here in the primary remember primary has stronger hydrogen bonding than the inductive effect so that's why it is here and then you have tertiary tertiary has only inductive effect and its hydrogen bonding does not present as a result here inductive effect is less so remember order in the aqueous phase is secondary primary and tertiary name the two effectors which affect the strength in water so as soon as you dissolve in water there is something called as solvation or hydrogen because of the hydration because of hydrogen bonding and second because of steric hindrance so these are the two region where basic strength of the amine will depend in the solution or water next we talk about the question 9th identify x y and z suppose they have given this compound in benzene there is co nh2 this is benzene amide so in this compound you are reacting with br2 naos so this is called as hoffman bromine amide degradation reaction so in this what happen this co group will be removed and result in formation of x will be aniline so this compound which is formed is form the aniline will be formed next aniline is reacted with nano2 hcl this is sandmeier reaction it result in the formation of benzene diazonium salt so benzene diazonium salt or benzene diazonium chloride is formed and when you react with the ki it result in the formation of ido benzene question number 10 is you have to convert the aniline to 4 bromo aniline okay so when you react aniline with bromine so remember what happened bromine will get attached at ortho and para position but we want only bromine at the four position so what we do we react it with the acid uh, acid and hydride so we react with acid and hydride so what happen acid and hydride react with nh to form nhco ch3 with benzene ring this is called as acetonalide so this compound what it will do the electrons of the nitrogen will show resonance with this co bond 
as a result what happen electron density at the benzene ring will decrease and br will get only attached at the para position so because of this compound formation br will attach at the para position if you attach here it will get attached at both ortho and para position so br get attached at the ortho position and in presence of acid or oh negative or base what happen you will get the nh2 and br so this compound which is formed called as 4 bromo aniline Question number 11 is what is benzoylation of the primary amine give example with the methyl amine. So in benzoylation suppose you have taken primary amine and you are reacting with the benzoyl chloride. So when you are react with the benzoyl chloride it result in the benzoylation. So here what happened this Cl and this one of the H will react to form HCl and these two compounds will get attached to each other result in formation of this product. Next reaction. Suppose you have X react with NaNO2 result in formation HCl 0 degree result in formation of Y, Y with warm result in formation of Z and Z in Z will form X plus uh, Y plus Z result in formation of orange dye called as para hydroxy azo benzene. So remember this orange dye you get from the, uh, from the benzene diazonium salt and from the phenol. So first reaction if you look at this reaction, this reaction is nothing but Sandmeier's reaction in which aniline react with NaNO2 HCl result in formation of benzene diazonium salt and benzene diazonium salt when you will warm it result in the formation of phenol. So when phenol and benzene diazonium chloride it result in a formation of a orange dye called as para hydroxy azo benzene. Question number 13 is why amines are both Bronsted base and the Lewis base. Bronsted base are the comp are the bases which can accept H plus. So amines can accept H plus. So that's why they are Bronsted base whereas they can also donate pair of electron if a species can donate pair of electron they are called as Lewis base. Next question number 14 name family of the compound that show carbyl amine test and give equation. So remember carbyl amine test is given only by the primary amine. So in carbyl amine test you have RNH2 chloroform with alcoholic KOH with heat result in a formation of RNC. NC is called as carbyl amine or also called as isocyanide so it this will produce a foul smell as a result you can detect the primary amine last question question number 15 is amines why amines have low boiling point than the alcohol nitrogen in amine is less electronegative than oxygen in alcohol as a result the nitrogen of the amine can form hydrogen bond but it is not as strong as the hydrogen bond of the alcohol as a result nitrogen in amines have the lower boiling point Next, what is the final product obtained when primary amines are alkylated? So finally, final product when there is an alkylation of the alkylation of the primary amine happen result in formation of quaternary ammonium salt which is R4N plus X negative. I hope you understood all the videos. So please like the video. For other videos, you can see the playlist in the description. So see you in the next video. Bye.